So we all know that the United Kingdom needs to rebalance its economy from service industries to manufacturing. To manufacture things made here in England and across the United Kingdom that we can sell across the world. And we know that the Northern Universities have the expertise in science and engineering that they can bring to bear on that problem. And here, around you, in the Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre, you'll see the place in which we take those ideas and translate it. So, as part of the Northern Universities' effort, we can be there making the stuff for Britain and helping Britain sell it to the world. We all want to see a rebalancing of the economy, both a rebalancing regionally so that uh, we, we, we uh, get more economic growth in the north of England, more high quality jobs, but also uh, rebalancing sectorally so we see more manufacturing. And so the Sir Henry Royce Institute will really help connect our academic base in material science with the industry to make new products, new processes, drive down the cost of manufactured products and make our industries more competitive, more able to export. I think we've established here at the AMRC a model for how you bring industry, universities and uh, the government together to try to create value for the long term. Uh, we want the biggest, if not the biggest, facility with this type of uh, machine tools and equipment. We're in a very unique position as a university to develop industrial partnerships, particularly with the big players, uh, you know, the aerospace and nuclear industry, because we have the, the capability to deliver large projects and large components. An innovation district is a concept that describes an innovation ecosystem where highly skilled, creative people, industry and academia come together to collaborate on new ideas. Um, it's critical for this region because we are a manufacturing region. We have some unique capabilities in our research base, in some of our leading businesses, uh, and we want to grow the, the economic impact that they can achieve. We know that um, many uh, world leading businesses have chosen to locate in Sheffield City region because of the skills of the workforce and because of the innovation assets like the AMRC, particularly in things like materials research. This is uh, a hip joint replacement and it's an interesting example of where we need better materials than we have at the moment. This particular one, this has actually been in a patient uh, and this, this one in fact uh, went wrong unfortunately. That is one of the things we're doing in Mercury is to develop a better material. So over in, in the Coral Laboratory you've seen we'll be able to make new ceramic materials and one example of that is, is a much tougher ceramic. This is a golf ball and uh, this is coated in a ceramic and as you can see I can drop it on the floor and it doesn't break. It's one matter taking a golf ball like this and coating it with a ceramic material which you can show off rather nicely. It's a completely different matter producing a femoral head that you can actually put in the body, which is what this is. And that is what we're doing in the Mercury Centre, is to produce new materials like this one uh, that we manufacture over there, and then we can come over here to the Sorby Centre to uh, analyse them and understand the surface that we've produced. We won't get sustainable economic growth without getting our productivity up. And productivity in manufacturing follows from research, from skills, from developing new processes, from developing new products that are high value products. So this is really vital, not just for Sheffield, but actually for the UK as a whole. This is our main additive layer manufacturing system. It's called an RCAM. Uh, it's an electron beam system. And what we've been doing over the past four years since we've, got, since we've had it is making it into a production-ready manufacturing system. The example I have over here is a component that we've built um, which is for a, a racing team. And the beauty about this was that we were able to accommodate multiple design changes over a very short space of time. We can make the parts in a day, have them finished and sent out. So if someone wants to make a rapid design change, they can. We think an innovation district has got three characteristics around its, its innovation assets, its networking assets and its physical assets. We think we've got exceptional strengths in the innovation assets and strong networking assets, but we think it's the physical assets that really need investment over the next few decades to get us up to something that really can be world leading. There are really big potentials for the North if we get this Northern powerhouse really trucking. We've got a great big low carbon challenge, we've got to make new infrastructure and rail, we're going to participate in new build and nuclear power. And what it'll mean then are jobs. Lots of jobs for people working these high-tech, 
high value manufacturing areas, taking the stuff we have in the universities, working with local industries and making the stuff for the UK and for the world market. Thank you.